Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'll be talking about relationships and I'll be taking my perspective from public opinions, that is people's perspective on the topic. And generally I'll be talking about under that I'll be talking about three different topics, which one is um what are the prerequisites for a best friend? Uh, other terms, what must one attain before you can make them, you can make someone your best friend? And the second one is, is there a difference between a best friend and a bestie? And the last one is, what will you do when you figure out your bestie in quotes is obsessed with you? very tricky questions and I actually just posted on my status to like see what people actually say about it and I got funny funny responses that actually are very weird sometimes but some of them are really very entertaining and also very useful so I will start from my number one um, from the first one where I said um, what are the prerequisites for a best friend someone said all that you need to have a best friend is just trust Trust is all you need from someone to be from, from your best friend, especially. Trust is what you need from your best friend. Exactly, that is what you truly need. The first thing you're supposed to do to get your best friend and to have your best friend trust. Once you have trust, once you trust your best friend, the other part of your whole relationship is superb. But once there's no trust, what is your best friend for? It's just there to like just play around. That is not your best friend. So I think trust is a very good point. Then the other part I, where he says, is there a difference between a best friend and a best friend? Um, the guy actually said, no, for Nigerians, definitely not. But later he came back and replied and said, um, bestie is the female version of a best friend. Like seriously, who does that? They are generalizing everything based on male and female. Now, a bestie is the female version of a best friend. So we'll move ahead. Then someone decided, decided to answer, what will you do if you figure out your bestie is obsessed with you? The person said, if it's a boy, he's in love. If it's a girl, deliverance is needed. <laughs> like seriously, deliverance. Why must it be the girl that needs to deliver? Why not the boy? We should not be genderly revised. Boys can also get obsessed and it can be dangerous. Girls can get obsessed and it can be dangerous. So we should not just put it that the boy is in love. Sometimes boys are not just in love. Sometimes we're just... I'll just call it cruise. Sometimes girls, the same thing. Girls don't know what they actually want, so you just have to let them what they what, let them to know what they want, and be always also be there as a best friend to help them. Don't just push them in because they're upset, and use the opportunity to gain what you want. So then, someone has said on the other topic, is there a, like the topic of is there a difference between a bestie and a best friend? Someone said you can't sex a best friend. But you can fuck your bestie. Like, besties are to fuck around and gist when you grow older. Then you drop the person for your best friend. Like, seriously, what does that mean? Like, bestie and best friend. So, your bestie is your fuckmate. And your best friend is the one you trust. Like, seriously, it doesn't. It's actually very funny, but I don't actually take that for a real answer. Then, on the other part, where he answered, what will you do if your best friend is obsessed with you? He said, uh, I don't have, but the way situation has been, if I have and I find out, we go date. Seriously, you will date your best friend. Why? Okay, based on he's a boy, he's taking from a boy's perspective, you will date the girl. But based on everything, the girl may be obsessed. Okay, she likes you, but you know, liking her, you have to think of your own friendship and the future, guy. Don't just think of that present time. If you're just doing it for fun, and you're hurting her feelings, it's going to be more disastrous than you telling her that you're not actually interested. At least a broken relationship is better than a broken friendship. We should all keep that in mind. Uh, on the other hand, another person gave the same response to the difference between bestie and best friend. Okay, he said bestie is the one they used to knock and still relate with, but best friend is like a twin. Wow. Then being, of, being obsessed, based on the topic, topic of being obsessed, he said he would marry her. Okay. I think speaking from the boy's side, then it's okay. 
I think this one is a girl. She said, under the rules of being obsessed, she said she was obsessed over them too. She was obsessed. I think it's a guy too. Then, okay, this one is actually really nice. One said, generally, I said, I think it's possible to unfriend anyone that if you have a valid reason to. If there is no serious toxic reason or something to end the friendship, then I would suggest just talking it out, talk it out with the person. I think this is really, really nice. Talk out with the person, let the person know this and that so that you can actually bring the relationship back to how it used to be. And for the person actually sent an audio board, in which I cannot play right now, but the person actually gives the, um, at least advice on what to do. And one of them she said was prayers go out with protections in case be I think she's talking from the girl's perspective and seriously you have to do what she actually said. Go out with the friend you know a friend a guy is obsessed over you. I think generally you're not supposed to move alone. You know with group of friends or trusted friends so that a guy doesn't attack you on the way and do something really nasty to you. So I'm done with the public opinions but I have my own opinion that will actually help people. Uh, based on everything Obsession is not something we actually joke with or no, play based on the boy's perspective and the girl's perspective. And obsession is really very tremendous and disturbing situation for each gender. Because a girl being obsessed with a boy, if the boy doesn't have feelings for the girl, it can be really disastrous and it can lead to different things if it's not well curtailed. And the same thing for a guy. If a guy is being obsessed with a girl, the same damages also occur. So, if you are in such a um, serious relationship or a serious problem like that, I think I have just five or four points for you that you can actually just use. And one of them is prayers. Not everybody that really just needs to pray, but just most times just pray over something that you know is really difficult for you, that you yourself you know you can't handle. Then the second one is try talking to the person, even not physical, but through if you already have social media, you can try talk to the person through social media. The person doesn't understand through social media, maybe between physical, but don't go alone. Go with someone you trust. Then try to keep away, keep distance away from the person for the meantime, so that the person can understand what he or she wants. You don't just go by when you know that he's obsessed over you, you are still going to go and meet him alone or going or dressing him properly. I won't just say that, but always give the person time, give the person space to think about what he or she wants. It's actually the best thing to do when someone is obsessed over you. Which is protections. You need protections from friends to help you and keep you safe. Because you don't know where or when the person can come, maybe when you are alone and do something really nasty, especially girls. When a guy is obsessed over you, you guys are actually the weaker vessels. You guys are supposed to go along with friends, even male friends that you trust. You go along with them, so in case of anything, you can always escape. And the guy can't just come in public to harass you. It's not proper. And if he does so, at least the person with you can be able to like contain the issue. Then the fourth, I think, is someone said you can actually break the relationship. If, if you know that your relationship is not going to go forward as friends or best friends, you can actually break ties of being best friends. But don't do it in a mean way. Do it in a very nice way that you know that after he or she has come back to yourself, there won't be any hatred for each other. But the friendship can still move on. Then if you guys in the future want to then become best friends again based on everything and you're forgetting each other, then you can do so. Then the, the last one is telling someone about the present issue you are going through. If you know you can't handle it on your own, I think just tell someone, even though it's an elder, at least someone that understands you better and someone that can give you words of advice and at least people actually bring ideas that can actually help you but don't take advice from people who you know that their lifestyle is not actually pleasant because someone can give you bad advice and if you fall into it to actually destroy your future or destiny take advice from good people good friends and adults who you know can handle situations well i think that is all for now i'm very happy like to help out in the way i can so video you can click on the like button and also subscribe and turn on your post notification to receive updates on other videos coming up.